Today's featured guest on the Gloria Bowler Show is Dr. Tamika D. Russell and the author of Divine Forgiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Gloria Bowler. Welcome to the Gloria Bower Show. Once again, I am Gloria Bower. I thank you so much for tuning in. And today I am in Prattville, Alabama with Dr. T. Danielle Russell. And I tell you, I'm so excited. And uh, y'all give her a hand. Amen. I want to say thank you so much for allowing us to come in. Signed her office and just talk with her a little bit about her book. Not only does she have one book, but she has two books. We'll talk about that a little later on. She's self-employed. She's a Slimmer Weight Loss Center. She has a Slimmer Weight Loss Center and Healing Clinic. Owner of the Edible Arrangements. I know y'all know about that. She's a wife of Pastor Albert Russell over at Grace Community Church. She's a mother. CEO of Faith Walk Enterprises, and then she's a Christian author. I mean, that's a lady of many hats. And we are so glad to be here today and talk about her book. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> she's looking wonderful. And uh, right here on this book, she switched roles from all those hats to Christian author. And you can go ahead, Dr. Russell, and tell us a little bit about that book. Okay. And uh, now we'll start with your first book. How about that? Okay. The name of it was? Sanctified and Still Standing. Um, God woke me up 3 o'clock in the morning back in 2005 and told me to start writing. Um, at the time, I was still a resident. And a lot of my younger patients were coming in, and they just seemed lost. Like they had no faith in themselves to go on and accomplish their goals. And so I would share my story with them in the office, and God was like, you got to put it on paper because there's so many young people who want to go on and have professional careers, but they feel like because of where they're from that they won't have the means or they don't have what it takes to succeed. And so in 2005, God woke me up 3 o'clock in the morning and told me to start writing. Wow. But I did not complete the writing until about 2007. Um, you know, we moved and we had a child and so many things got in the way of completing it. But in 2007, within three months, I put the pen to the paper or put my fingers to the computer and I typed the whole book within three months. Amazing. And so this book was released in 2008, and this is my personal testimony talking about how God brought me from a small town of Callahan, Florida, um, took me through to become valedictorian of my high school. Um, I graduated from Alabama State, full scholarship there, then I received a full scholarship through the Air Force to attend Emory School of Medicine. So this is just my personal testimony of how God has allowed me to get to where I am. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, so you need to go get sanctified and still standing. I'm telling you, can't wait to read that one. Thank you. And then we received a copy of Divine Forgiveness. Yes. This is my second um, book. This one is not personally, it's not about me per se. Um, this book I did write in 2008 while I was deployed to Baghdad. Um, I had the privilege of working in the detention center with the Iraqi detainees, the same people that were trying to blow us up. I sat face-to-face mm -hmm. -face with them, wow. just like we're sitting face-to-face, -face, okay. because I had to make sure that they were not being abused by our interrogators. Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure they were okay going into their interviews and okay when they came out of their interrogations. And so I had a lot of emotions surrounding being a mother in the military, being pulled away from my children, being forced to go to this foreign country full of people that wanted us dead mm -hmm. and basically protect those people from our people. I kind of felt like a, a traitor. Um, and so I wanted to somehow put my emotions into a book. And God allowed me to tell the story of Deanna, who is a young lady from Mobile, who experiences something, you know, very treacherous that happened to her as a young child but she doesn't remember what happened. All she knows is that she's pregnant. Okay. And um, this book goes through how she struggles to take care of her son. She joins the military as a means to do that. Mm -hmm. She does get deployed in the book and that's where my emotions come into play in the book. But this book really deals with forgiveness. Her, when she learns who did what to her, she had to learn how to forgive that person and move on. But she struggles with depression, addiction, family dynamics, a lot of different things that I see people dealing with today. Mm -hmm. 
Um, God allowed me to address in this book that's not technically about me, but my emotions are poured into this one. So is that a true story? This is not a true story. Okay. It's all not, right. All right. It's but I'm telling you, I believe when I went through uh, your interviews, I'm talk. I mean, uh, people that reviewed it, five star reviews was saying things like great plots, unexpected twists. So you just gotta gotta get this book. Takes you from crying and laughing to praising God. Amen. Amen. Such an awesome testimony of God, how God loves us. Uh, a real page turner. One person said you're gonna just simply love it. And I'm telling you, I am just honored to be here. When you can see people, God gives someone a vision. It's up to us to put that pen to the paper. Amen. Everybody has a vision. All of us were created for a purpose. And it's up to us on what we do with it. And I'm sure it pleased the Father that you take time out to say, okay, God, you've given me my vision. I'm going to put it on paper. And then it turns around and blesses someone like me that I had the honor to come to Prattville, Alabama, sit in your office and talk to you about it. That's a divine connection. That is a Stay tuned to the Gloria Bowyer Show. We'll be right back. What's your favorite chapter in the book? I'm sure everyone wants to know. And also, what inspired you to write it? So my favorite chapter is actually the chapter dealing with intervention. Um, because at some point, the main character, Dion, she reaches her lowest point. And her mom just felt like, okay, we've got to deal with this. Mm -hmm. And if, if you've seen War Room, oh, you yes, see of how course. she says you got to pray. Yes. And I love the part where she says you need to duck and just let God handle it. Yes. Well, her mom goes to the church and she grabs all the praying sisters of the church mm -hmm. to come to her house and they oh. laid hands on this young lady and they prayed until she was delivered from her issue. So that was my favorite part of writing wow. this book because I have personally experienced the power, power of prayer. I know what it feels like when the Holy Spirit comes in and takes mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. And you can really feel when that yes. happens. That was a, her transition point yes. in this book. And then she allows God to take over from there. So that was my favorite chapter to write okay. in this book. My inspiration was just... <laughs> I really think that when people can't forgive mm -hmm. and move on, they don't realize that it's hurting them yes, because it is. the person that hurt them yes. has gone on about That's their right. business and their That's living right. life and they don't even care. Right. But we're the ones that sit around and we're moping and we're thinking about it and we're angry wow. about it and we allow it to hold us back. Mm -hmm. I actually had a conversation with a 70-year-old patient yesterday. Mm -hmm. And something happened to her in childhood, and all of a sudden she's starting to have anxiety attacks, anxiety wow. attacks. And so I said, I said, I don't know exactly what happened to you, but at some point you're yeah. going to have to forgive Gonna that person to. in order to. for you to live yes. out the rest of your days yes. with fullness of joy. And mm -hmm. she's like, I don't oh, think I'll goodness. ever, I don't think I'll ever oh, forgive my. that person. I said, well, then you're going to hold yourself back. That person has probably moved on and you're still here mm -hmm. brooding. Yes. And so I told her, I said, well, I'm going to just pray for yes. you and just pray that you will allow God to open up your heart to forgive. I said, you don't have to be best friends with that person, right. but you're going to have right. to forgive in order to heal. Wow. So that was my inspiration because that's a big problem. A lot of people don't know how to forgive. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> it's so important. Yeah. And then it says, it's almost like we drink the poison, exactly. but we expect them to die. Poison to the soul. Forgiveness is so important. It is. It, and it, it just helps us. Mm -hmm. It helps us get up in the morning and go on. It does. It helps us. And we are all at one point in time. We're going to have to learn that we at are. one time or another. Multiple times. Because, probably. you know, even <laughs> us, you know, if we hurt someone, you know, that could be unknowingly. Right. If we hurt them, my God, it's so important. 
when they can forgive us. Yes. And then as the father, as his children, you know, when we hurt the father, when he forgives us, right. imagine how we feel. Because I was asking my director uh, the other day, I said, well, what happened to you uh, five years on uh, September the 19th, uh, five years ago? She's like, mm, I don't remember. I said, that's right. Because whatever it was, was so bad, God forgave you and he managed to get you through it. Amen. Because that's how good he is. Amen. So it's so important when we can forgive us. And it's amazing how we expect God to forgive us, yes. but yet we don't want to extend forgiveness oh, to our brother and sister. Goodness. And God says, how can you love me yeah. when you don't even love your brother? <laughs> you see I every know day. it, girl. So we have I to practice it. what we preach. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it's so hard. It's so it hard. It's it so is. hard. It but is. you just feel better. You feel that you lift. Do when you do sleep better at you night. do mm -hmm. girl you said that <laughs> you said it and um uh, we just need to forgive and move on but i just recommend the book you've got to get this book just in case uh they don't want to hit rewind but uh, go ahead again and just tell them it's on Amazon. Uh, I know you're on Facebook. I, am. I think that's how we connect. And my yes. husband always say, you're always on Facebook. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm on there because I know it's right. an assignment. Mm -hmm. It's a purpose exactly. behind it. Not being it, messy. Yeah. <laughs> Even coming here today, I said, God, I'm on an assignment. Oh, oh God, I felt like, thank you, Lord. Yes, I'm on an assignment. Got up this morning. Excited about today's assignment. Well, and I want to say thank you so much once again thank for allowing you. me to be about my father's business. Thank you. That's my purpose. Thank you. For being here today. And thank you for what you do. Thank you so much. Giving me an opportunity to be about him. Amen. But because the one thing about it, we are all in it so that he will get his glory. His glory. You, myself, director, and the staff mm -hmm. here, we want God to get the glory. Yes. Once again, go ahead and tell him how to get that book, Divine Forgiveness. You can look for my Facebook page. It's Divine Forgiveness Book. Um, just put the words in search and it will pop up. And there is a link to shop now on the page. But you can just go onto Amazon, type Divine Forgiveness, and you'll see it pop up. You can also type in Sanctified and Still Standing. Ooh. It will pop up there. Um, you can also email me. My email address is fam.danny, F-A-M-D-O-C. D-A-N-I at gmail.com. Wow. I can't even wait to come back and talk about sanctified and still standing. Because y'all know how I am. I'm sanctified and still standing. Thank you so much, Dr. Russell, Thank for allowing you. me the opportunity to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.